Before you begin using your Max 4000 Excel or Max 4000 instrument, let's make sure you've received everything on your packing list. In most cases, an accessory kit will be included. The accessory kit for the Max 4000 XL and Max 4000 includes a power cord that meets the requirement of the country in which the instrument will be used, a three gram and five gram and 20 gram weight, tweezers, an Allen wrench or hex key, and a box of 100 waffle type aluminum sample pans. Once you have verified that you have received everything on your packing slip, plug the instrument in, but do not turn it on yet. Before turning it on, you will need to install the pan support. The pan support comes securely fastened inside the instrument. To install it, simply remove the yellow security tape and lift straight up on the foam spacer. Remove the pan support from the foam and locate the hole in the center of the testing chamber. If you look into the hole, you'll notice a smaller hole at the bottom inside the instrument. Gently place the pan support in the center of the larger opening and guide it into the smaller hole at the bottom inside of the instrument. Do not push or tap on the pan support. It will fall into place by itself when properly aligned. The balance is located below the pan support. So pressing down before, during, or after pan support installation can cause the instrument to give incorrect readings. Make sure that all users of the instrument know not to press down on the pan support. After the pan support is installed, take a quick look at the height of the arms in relation to the blue rubber inner gasket. Make sure that none of the arms are touching the gasket and that they are all relatively the same height, giving them three to four millimeters of clearance. Once you've confirmed that the pan support is clear, you may now turn on the instrument. On startup, you will be greeted with a somewhat loud and long beep. The instrument then goes through its subroutine. The instrument's current firmware version is listed on this screen. After the instrument is turned on, you will reach the main screen. If a calibration reminder appears, simply press escape to return to the main screen. On the main screen, you will see the date, time, and other information such as percent moisture, the time of the test, the next program to be tested, and a thermometer. The number at the bottom of the thermometer represents the current temperature, whereas the number at the top represents the idle temperature for the currently selected test. The buttons along the bottom and to the right of the screen will help you navigate through the menu system. Now that you are well acquainted with your CompuTrack Max 4000 XL or Max 4000, you are ready to move on to the next step performing the span or balance calibration and the weight test. For more CompuTrack tutorial videos, check out the playlist linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about your CompuTrack Max 4000 XL or Max 4000, contact your Amatech Arizona Instrument or local representative using the links in the description below. We look forward to serving all your moisture, solids, and ash needs. If you like this video, let us know by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Have a topic in mind for a future video? Send us your suggestion by visiting azic.com contact.